All right, so this here is Snow Chooch's engine. Now, why is it off a of Snow Chooch? Well, a couple reasons. I just wanted to look inside of the thing and just see how it's held up to all the abuse this thing has withstood for the last five years. Because, yeah, it's been on that snowblower for like five years now. So we'll see how it looks inside of it now. And uh, the other reason is I gotta change these belts some point before next winter because, you know, I reckon uh, this drive belt here might be just a wee bit cooked. <laughs> Christ, that was the worst belt I've ever seen. I bet you that thing was slipping like hell during the winter. So a quick history lesson on this thing. So originally I bought that thing off of Craigslist back when I was still living with my parents. Um, cause they adamantly refused to buy a snowblower for fucking reasons. And, uh, so I bought that thing on Craigslist for about $20. It wasn't running when I got it. And, uh, well, I swear I managed to buy just the worst snowblower I possibly could have cause fucking hell, this thing is awful. But, uh, you know, that's beside the point. So this thing originally had a, uh, a flathead engine on it. I don't remember how big it was, but that engine was, was junk. Uh, it had broken the crankshaft key, which I, even after I fixed that, I still couldn't get it to run. I'm pretty sure it was losing compression out of the exhaust valve. So I was like, ah, forget that. Now, I had that engine that I bought at a estate sale off a pressure washer. Now, the pump on that thing wasn't great. It worked, but it didn't really make the best pressure. So I got this for 20 bucks. I had cut the pump all apart to take that off. And I was like, cool. So this thing run, ran good. So I disassembled it pretty much right away for because I wanted to um, wanted to take the governor out because you know 3,500 RPM. That's just not enough. And um, I wanted to also just inspect the internals. So originally I had bought this with the intention of perhaps putting it on a go kart or something, but well that, that just didn't end up happening. It ended up going on that thing. So when I took this apart, the thing was in perfect condition. There was no scoring whatsoever on the cylinder walls. All the cross hatches were still there. The rod bearings were perfect. Cam lobes were great. Everything was awesome on the inside. Now, I know you know probably how that ha went because for the last five or so years after I put this on that thing, uh, I've been beating the absolute living shit out of this thing. And you know, it's developed a bit of smoke to it. So I just wanna see how it's fared on the inside. See how the cylinder looks. See how the rod bearing looks, see how the cam lobes look. The thing is, I am honestly amazed that this engine has not blown up yet. Because when I reassembled it, I didn't torque anything correctly. I didn't even pull up the torque specs, I just completely guessed. I just tightened the rod bolts to however the fuck tight, I tightened the head bolts to however the fuck tight, and I reused the head gasket, which, you know, what's that gonna do? Fucking leak? Woof, whatever on that one. But. The fact that this thing has survived all of it that it has on guest torqued everything, that's amazing. So we're going to have a look inside this thing again. Just see how it's worn. See how the cylinder looks, how the piston looks, how the rod bearing looks, how the cam looks. I'm real interested to see what we find in here because this could potentially be real interesting. So first things first, let's drain this oil. Let's see how bad this looks. I mean, I'm expecting it to because it doesn't have an oil filter or anything. Let's have a look. Oh. Honestly, I was expecting worse. With all the shit that's been run through this engine, I'm surprised it's only that bad. That's about normal. It's about what you'd expect. Boy, the shit that's been on this. I'm expecting, I'm curious to see if there's any damage that's causing all the blue smoke or if that's just cylinder wear. Cause I mean, I'm kind of expecting a cracked ring line because I once ran this thing on acetylene just for the fuck of it. And uh, holy crap, was it banging so loud. It sounded like a damn diesel with how fast the acetylene burns. I'm curious if I cracked a ring land when I did that. That'd be neat. <laughs> My God, there's so much oil in there. Oh, 
look at that. So, first glimpse inside the engine. Head gasket? Still fucking mint. Let's see if I can get the lighting right. You look at that valve. There's so much soot and oil in there. And if you look in here, Jesus. Look at all that. <laughs> this thing was not keeping any oil out. Holy shit. All right, come on, camera. No, oh, I definitely found the source of all the blue smoke. Christ, look at that. <laughs> oh, man, there's some lines in there, I tell you. But particularly right there, that streak of oil that's not getting scraped at all, that's just coming right by it. Oh, that's good. Let's clean it off in here a little bit. Let's see what we can see. God, look at the top of that piston, too. Jesus. Clean that right off. So, how does the cylinder look? Well, I definitely see a spot. That, that spot right there has definitely been washed. There's clearly something that's, that was sitting in there for a while. The rest, though, like, there's actually still cross hatches there and there. Actually, right quick, look at this. You see all that? I didn't see that before. Jeez, I don't know what that is. That's neat. Never seen a pattern like that. You can actually you can actually feel that. Those are pits. Wonder what did that? So if I can get this light correct. Yeah, look at that. You see that the washed area at the bottom? And then there's all those spots of pitting there. I really wonder what caused that. Alrighty, let's take a look. Ah, never mind that piece of dirt. Let's get rid of that. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's check the camshaft first. Not bad. There's no, not even any marks on this. Not bad at all. Look at that, that's surprising. Alrighty, how about the lifters? So if I got some circle marks on it, but you know, that's to be expected. I mean, they are flat tappets and all. Especially because when I, re when I rebuilt this the first time, I probably mixed those up. All right. Pop the, let's take the rod bolts out and pop the, uh, pop the piston out. All right, got that off and look at that. It's like still perfect. How is that even possible? I've been running this thing at like 6,000 RPM and that's still mint. I mean, let's get the piston and the crank out and have a look at that now. All right, here we are. This thing is in spectacular shape given what it's been through. No scoring there. There's only tiny stuff that the camera can't really pick up. But like, that's a bit rough. But uh, I mean, the rings are still okay. Uh, the crank journal is still totally fine. It's got some light little scratches on it, but it's nothing major at all. And the cylinder, it's got those weird wear patterns on it, but other than that, it's really good. Yeah, that's not stellar. I don't know what that's about, but, like, the cylinder's actually okay. That really should say something about how well built these engines are. If after all of the abuse that this thing has taken from me for five years, it honestly has barely even worn at all. That's honestly shocking. I'm seriously impressed. I really am. That is so cool that that's only, that's barely worn at all. What a damn treat. This engine might be around for a while. I was thinking this thing 
Because, see, I'm kind of at this point just waiting for this engine to blow up so I can put a bigger engine on Snow Chooch. Because what I want to do, I want to put a diesel on that. Something like just way too big for, for the thing. But this engine might be around for a little bit. I might have to like boost this or something instead. Jesus, this thing has been holding up. I'm honestly shocked. <laughs> I did not think this would hold up like this. Well, there was one other thing I wanted to do while I'm in here. And you see, that involves this. So if you notice here, there are three rings here. You get your top two compression rings, but the bottom one here, that's the motherfucker. This one right here is the stupid one that limits how much the thing chooches. Now, I don't know, you should know how we operate around here. Now we can't have that. So we're gonna take that out, and that's really gonna get some good ass chooch in here going. So let's do that right quick. There we fucking go, you don't need this stupid thing. <laughs> I'll keep this around so that in case we get some adverse side effects, I can just put it back in. But for now, ain't need none of that shit. <laughs> ain't got no chooch limiter now. Now we're gonna really blow some blue, boys. <laughs> Alright, let's start getting her back together now that I've seen what I needed to. Alright, let's see how it runs. Not even shooting any more than it was. What the hell? <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit more. Wow, that barely made a difference at all. That's surprising, actually. on the camera but it is smoking a bit wow that's exactly the same as it was what the fuck <laughs> that's hilarious Color me fucking surprised. I was expecting a lot more smoke. But, well, hey, it is a little bit more, so that's something. I'll still keep this around, though. But, hey, it looks like it's just going to be fine like that. <laughs> so not, It's only getting a little bit more smoke than it was, which is honestly shocking. And a little bit disappointing. But, you know, fucking whatever. Any improvement is something. So, for the time being, that's all I needed to do. I'll deal with the belts later because I'm probably going to have to split this right here so I can get the uh, front belt because that one's kind of fucked too. So, well, that was a neat experience. There we go.